Employees accused of braid changing, physically abusing children, and collecting a paycheck for work that was never done. Over the past few years, those are just a few of the allegations Baltimore City Schools has investigated concerning its own employees. And as Project Baltimore's Chris Papps reports, that's just the start. $1.6 billion. That is how much money Baltimore City Schools will get from taxpayers this year. And we believe you, the taxpaying public, deserves to know what the district and its employees are doing with your money. And part of that is who Baltimore City Schools investigates internally and why. December 2019. A Baltimore City Schools employee is found to have choked an eighth grade student to the point where that student couldn't breathe. Two years later, in December 2021, another City Schools employee is accused and found guilty of kicking a nonverbal student and then aggressively dragging them three or four times. These are just two findings from recent Baltimore City Schools internal investigations reviewed by Project Baltimore. From a public records request, we obtained four years worth of internal investigations conducted by North Avenue into its own employees. Each report with confirmed findings, 79 in total. Over the next few months, we will show you what's in these reports, which document a wide range of issues plaguing Baltimore City schools. Issues like grade changing. In January 2019, City Schools investigator confirmed allegations of grade changing for student athletes to make them eligible to play sports. Much of this report is redacted. We can't see which schools were involved or how many students. But we can see the report found grades were changed from failing to passing by two school employees with no valid explanation. More than one year later, in June 2020, a teacher was found to have used profanity while holding class. The teacher, according to the report, said during his online lesson, I'm not doing this These kids don't know shit. In all of those internal investigations, the employee who was investigated no longer works for Baltimore City Schools, including the employee from this investigation. This report is interesting because it raises very serious questions over who City Schools chooses to investigate and who it chooses not to investigate. This report was filed in July 2019. It explains how a district employee was collecting a paycheck for work that was not done. At one point, according to this report, the employee used a personal cell phone to initiate a Facebook Live video during her assigned city school's work hours. According to North Avenue, the employee received more than $2,100 for about 111 hours of work, but was not actually working. If that sounds familiar, it should. Project Baltimore, back in January, first broke the story that city school's police detective and state champion football coach Lawrence Smith was submitting forms for overtime when it appears he was not actually working. Here, Smith in a Facebook Live video can be seen driving a boat on the Chesapeake Bay at the exact time his overtime form says he was working. You want to say something to your players, coach? Smith was later arrested by the FBI, in part for allegations of fraudulently obtaining more than $215,000 in overtime. But city schools never launched an internal investigation into Smith. In fact, in April, after this Fox 45 report aired, city schools promoted Smith to corporal. Meanwhile, this person was treated very differently. North Avenue launched an investigation into this employee who no longer works for the district. I'm Chris Pabst. Thanks for watching. Here's another story to watch. Also, if you have a story idea, please send us a message.